Welcome to episode 11 of our Small Town series. We are here in Van Wert, Ohio, showing you what was once called the peony capital of the world. To kick off our time here in Van Wert, we have stopped at the Historical Museum. It's just everything historical about Van Wert, starting with the railroad history. Right behind me is the caboose. This is actually the last model made by the Pennsylvania Railroad, and um, they restored it and put it here for everybody to see kind of how the train cars were way back in the day. One more thing, if you come here, come Sundays 2 to 4.30, that's when the Historical Museum is open, you can actually walk through the train car here and they'll take you through it. It has a bunch of really awesome artifacts like you saw in that video before. In case you were wondering how Van Wert got its name, it comes from a guy named Isaac Van Wert, who was a Revolutionary War hero. Born in New York, he volunteered for the army and fought against the British, and was actually personally recommended by George Washington to get the very first medal ever established for military service in the United States, and that's really, really cool. So this is named after him, and he's actually not the only Revolutionary War hero. General Anthony Wayne, you might remember him from Waynesville, Ohio. He actually marched through here as well, during the Revolutionary War and um, would set up camp on the way to Fort Wayne again by where we live. So really cool bunch of crossroads of past videos coming together. A few things we'd like to mention is this place is free when the house is open and as well as outside of course you can walk around and see all of the historical items and their signs to give you more information but now we're gonna head downtown. Let's go! Laramie vlog we took a video and in there they had the highest point on the Lincoln Highway. The well, Lincoln Highway is usually known as like I-80 I the interstate that goes across the country but it actually then splits off and goes through other parts of the country and it runs right through here in Van Wert which is pretty cool. It is absolutely beautiful, but what's also really cool is they have two Civil War era cannons on both sides, and that is so cool to see. I mean, cannons from way back in the day. Obviously, they're no longer functional, but it is a really cool piece.
Van Wert being the peony capital of the world. <laughs> so back in 1930, a guy who had a pretty passionate interest in growing peonies took his little, little garden and expanded it to two acres worth of peonies. And actually had to move his garden out of Van Wert to a different area just outside of town. And that is why Van Wert became known as the peony capital of the world. He was shipping them all over the United States. But also, to keep up that tradition, Van Wert holds a peony festival in June that you can come and see everything and all the flowers blooming and it's really beautiful and we recommend that you come and check it out. Now that we've walked the downtown streets and visited all the history in the area, we're going to go get a delicious cold treat. Let's go. We have come to the Sycamore Drive-In just on the outskirts of downtown and we each got custard. It's $2.50 each for a small and they give you so much. I got chocolate, Molly got lemon. They're both melting fast so we're going to get this over with. But we'll, we'll give them chocolate a try here. Mmm. Oh. It's so good. It's really, you know, creamy like a custard would be. And I'm just a sucker for plain old chocolate ice cream. So this is delicious. Um, it's, yeah, totally worth the money. Now to try the lemon. Mmm. That is such a fresh, vibrant, lemony taste. I am a sucker for lemon flavoring. So this is perfect. The creaminess of it. Um, is way better than ice cream in my opinion. It's 10 times creamier and 10 times the flavor. Highly recommend coming to this place. Mm. Our time here in Van Wert has sadly come to an end with delicious custards walking the downtown streets and learning all about the history. It's finally time to go and we are very sad, but we will see you next time in another small town. Bye. See you in the next, I have to Hello and welcome to episode 11 of Australia. Otherwise, it's a free place to come and it's very historic. I don't like that. <laughs>